stuff. Uh, if if we were to be free, uh, I know that the Me Mexico has offered um, citizenship, and um, and uh, you don't need to tell us the plans. But what, how do you see William Assange coming free and his role? You know, your both your roles in the future. Uh, so the question was uh, how he will pursue his life. <laughs> how, what might happen when, when he's free, because Julian will be free. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know is the answer, but safety is, is the first priority. Um, I know that Julian, if he if he is able, he would like to um, at least go to Mexico and um, hopefully that could be soon. <laughs> <laughs> of whether Robert F. Kennedy Jr., if he, I know that we talked about Starmer in the UK, but um, if he were actually given a shot at, you know, um, uh, candidacy or something, do you think he'd actually keep his word about pardoning Snowden and uh, Julian? Well, the problem with that is he's got absolutely no chance of becoming president. <laughs> <laughs> Any backing must be good, though, in the Snowden yeah. show. I know, I mean, I, I'm pleased that he said that. Mm. But yeah. it's, um, mm. it could be so. It's just the way it happened. Sorry. But I think it's good <laughs> to remind Snowden because uh, Julian is in prison, Snowden is in exile. You know us. <laughs> you know, and let's not forget Sarah Harrison who helped Snowden to get asylum. Uh, she is. She risks. She risks traditions like Julian. You know? I'm sorry, I can't be optimistic about it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Black keys or white keys? <laughs> Which one? Who's <laughs> going? Oh, I can only see one hand up. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> um, since I've been following Julian's case, I feel like I've been lied to my entire life in this country. The judiciary in this country has got a reputation. It's a big reputation in the judiciary. Do you think that they're worried about their reputation by continuing to hold Julian? And do you think that they'd be so worried about their reputation that is one of the things that would stop them from sending him to America? Mm. He still, still uh, knows the legal stuff yeah. inside out. I'm sure. Can I? Yeah, but, can I, I said, yeah, yeah. Later on, can I? Yeah. No, no, please go for it. And then. Um, you know, the UK judiciary is politicised. You know, the idea that somehow they're sitting there and they're all adjudicated. But it's always been politicised. It's always been politicised. Yes. Yes. Um, they make decisions. You know, America wants Julian Assange extradited. Uh, Britain isn't going to stop that because they're so dependent on the US. The intelligence alliance between the US and the UK is like that. You know, they're tight. Uh, Britain gets 90% of its intelligence from the NSA yeah. and uh, the yeah. smaller bit, CIA. They're not going to endanger that by not giving America what they want. So as long as America wants uh, Julian Assange back in the uh, US, they, they, they'll get it. Can I just say, you do get exceptions though. Lord Chief Justice Goldring found in my favour. And he also found in favour of the people of Liverpool as well. So you, you do get exceptions. I just want to add something about the, the <clears throat> British justice. You know, I come from a country where we have all sorts of legal scandal, judicial scandal, whatever. Italy, you know, <laughs> has this kind of problems, corruption, and so on. However, 
not even in Italy it would be possible to keep in prison five years. <laughs> you know, a person without trial, it would be impossible. It's one year in Italy. There is a limitation. Then they can get an extension, but the extension could be one year and a half in total. They, you, there's no way, not even in Italy. You know, we have very bad prison regime, like 41 bis. 41 bis is just one step behind the same regime. And we had cases at the European Court of Human Rights for the 41 bis, 41 bis regime, which is uh, considered torture, because it's very extreme. It's for very dangerous mafia people and terrors. And, but not the, even if we have these extreme prison regime, incarceration regimes like 41 bis, in Italy it would be absolutely impossible to keep in prison five years <laughs> without trial. Mm -hmm. No way, no way. Even extradition cases? No way. Extradition is one year, they can get an extension, six months in addition to one year, but then stop. There's no way. So it would be impossible. This is to tell you how, you know, absurd, I'm afraid to say absurd, your country when it comes to this Human rights. justice yeah. system, mm -hmm. you know? So, so it's still of course the courts are, are um, sensitive to criticism of uh, over there, well, keeping Julian in prison for over five years. I mean, it's very important to keep on pointing out uh, that they're allowing this, you know, to, to unfold. Have you brought up financial compensation? Because that normally shakes them as well. Mm. Yeah, seriously, you know, five years in prison for you know, it's, it's how much is that worth to your children? Well, the UN already, already, the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention yes. already I ruled in 2015 yeah. Yeah. that Julian should be compensated uh, for arbitrary detention, uh, and, and the uh, the UK ignored it and so on. I would like to say something.